3 nil, and it, it never seemed to go right for you on the night. Yeah, it's true. Um, we'll come here with uh, the backpack we had with uh, three goals difference. You need a special performance, and um, we were not, we didn't show a special performance tonight. So it was, in moments, a good performance, but Real Madrid was for the whole game the team in control of the game had the better chances Ali had to make two sensational saves to to keep us in the game um, and that's the reason so again if you want to get if you want to get through you need to be outstanding if you want to win the game you need to be really good and again Madrid was the better team and that's why the right team went through to the next round Raise your hand. <laughs> Carlos Vicente de Radio Marca. Yo imagino que para usted hoy tiene que ser un día muy complicado, pero no sé si dentro del enfado lógico por haber quedado eliminado le ha dado tiempo a valorar el detalle que se ha tenido aquí en Madrid poniendo el Juniper Galón al final del partido, que es algo que nunca había pasado en el Estadio Santiago Bernabéu. I would have, if I would have heard it, but I'm too old maybe, but people told me, well, my staff told me after the game, so it's a really nice gesture. So we are two heavyweights who meet each other quite frequently in international football. Um, I think it's clear that we respect each other a lot um, and that uh, uh, whoever did it is doing something like that is, is a really nice gesture, I have to say, absolutely. Um, I was not angry after the game. I'm, disappointed and I'm um, I, I would be angry if he would have played better and it was close and um, then um, they win because of a penalty which is not a penalty or stuff like this but in the end that all didn't happen Real Madrid was just a better side and I, I'm long enough in the business to, 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 to respect that and that's it Jose Padilla de defensa central, ¿crees que este Real Madrid es favorito a ganar la Champions, viendo sobre todo la superioridad del partido de Anfield? Uh, with the experience they have, with the confidence they have, of course they are one of the favorites, but I think who wants to win the competition needs to beat Madrid or needs to beat Man City, <coughs> needs to beat Napoli, who we face and they are a really good football team. I am Munich and I don't know who I forgot to be honest, so there are now only really strong football teams involved, so but Madrid with their history is for sure a team who can win it. Jürgen, it, it was a, a difficult night, but a night in the Bernabeu, it does show you and the, and the team, how important the Champions League is and, and what's at stake. So presumably that's the message for the rest of the season now to, to get into the top four. Absolutely, absolutely. It's um, um, So with the history we have in this competition, I think we, sh we start usually in the competition with the idea of winning it, to be honest. So we reach few times the final didn't win the final that's true that often but were there anyway three times in the last few years um, and that's why I really believe and if you want to win the competition you have to be outstanding and we weren't tonight so that's why it's then fair that we go out but of course it's the, the competition and uh, we want to be part of it um, every year and that's now a massive task for us we all know that when we come back from international break, from the international break, uh, we have a proper football week ahead of us, I would say, um, with three games, City, Chelsea, Arsenal, uh, which will then probably define um, where, we, where we get out of it. People might say we, we, we lost it in, in Bournemouth, but I think... This week is a pretty decisive one, so we have to hope now that we, um, that the boys come back healthy, early enough, um, 
in the in the right shape and then yeah we will try it Hola, mister. Buenas noches. Miguel Ángel Lara, de Marca. Le quería preguntar si cree que el Real Madrid, más allá del nivel técnico-táctico del equipo, es el que mejor maneja emocionalmente esta competición. Probably, yes. But that's something they used to handle it the best way. Now we have to see if they can do it again. This year, they have the right manager to do that, for sure. But there are other teams who didn't win it for a while, and they want to go for it 100%. So, unfortunately, we have to watch this, these big games now from, from distance. But, yeah, I don't know who will win it, to be honest. So, but it will be exciting to watch. Good night, Mr. Klopp. Ancelotti said after the game that uh, you guys talked a little bit about the potential penalty uh, by the end of the game, and that you know, also discussed the penalty last night uh, between City and Leipzig, and that, in his words, he said that this might not be football. Could you please elaborate a little bit on the problems that maybe the VAR system is facing in recent years? You can imagine I'm not, now not in a perfect mode to discuss general football issues, but these two things now, last night, if the whole world agrees it's not a penalty, and two guys think it's a penalty, then something is wrong. Tonight, I think that the VR took the ref to the screen and asked him to watch it again. I don't know exactly what he's doing there because it's a clear deflection. I cannot deflect it from a closer range. Um, like, I don't know how it goes quicker. So it's a clear deflection. So the VR just looks at it, just deflected. Keep on going. So everybody again with the football brain thought that it's not a penalty. So I arrived there and I'm talking to Carlo and he said, that's not a penalty, it's deflected. I said, I know, but he sent him still to the green screen. So there's something not 100% right. But in the end, it was not a penalty, it was not decisive. If they give the penalty, I think last night it was a bit more decisive than this it would have been now. But in the end, that is not our problem tonight. But in general, yeah, I think it would be cool if we are there to make the right decisions, not the wrong. Jorgen, uh, you're right. Carlo Bianchi, English, English, English for Correa del Ticino. Which are your goals for uh, the remaining season? To, to reach Tottenham? Because it's very, very important on, uh, you know, know, which kind of point of view Thank to you. stay in the four. Thank you for reminding uh, me. Yes, our, 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 our job is to squeeze absolutely everything out of the season, what's possible. It's a strange one so far. Um, just our, our recent two games, obviously a sensational performance against Manchester United, which is a really good football team, and then uh, a really bad performance against Bournemouth, which is a good football team as well, but we should not lose this kind of game. Um, that put us again on, on the more pressure than... With, which if we would have three points, I think that everybody really could felt our or smell our breath, if you want. Um, so there's again distance because other teams won their games. But again, I said, I cannot sit here now and tell that it's clear we want to be top four. But if we can do that, we will decide on the pitch, not here in the press conference. Carlos. I agree. Just a quick on, on the, the first two substitutions, Jogo and Darwin coming off, that was just to try and change it up. There's no injuries or anything like that with those two. Yeah, I think for Jogo it was clear that he should now not play extremely long because he's still coming back from a long, long injury. And you could see that the game got harder and harder for him. He had these little fouls there, one, two, three. That's, he's not a player who plays foul, he was really how we all know, so it, it becomes a bit late. So no risk with him when you have options on the bench. Yes, and um, Darwin looked like he, um, he was not on his absolute top level as well. And then we, we need to defend that side as well because conceding a goal is not helpful in that situation. And yeah, and if we can change like this, that's why we did it. Yeah, we wanted to mix it a little bit, that's true.